Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sasha Reed. Um, I've been having lots of fun and I thought I would pop on really quick and show you a few of my projects using um, just a couple dies. Um, so to start, I used these two dies here to make a couple Easter cards. Um, this is the one that says some bunny loves you and then the little bunny rabbit he comes with a belly and some whiskers. Um, so the first card I made, I'm just going to jump straight in, sorry. <laughs> I've got so much to do today. I made this little card here um, and I put him on some, you can see he's a bit shiny. Um, I've got this textured weird foil stuff from um, Hobbycraft and, um, and so I put some in the pink version underneath under here and then I put um, I cut out the bunny on the top there um, I did try and put the whiskers on him but because this is so slippy slidey I gave up really quick because it just started getting a big mess and I was like no no can't do this there was glue going everywhere so we scrapped that idea um, but basically I took the die and I just cut it into the background so you can see there's a line that's the only downside you can see the line around the card from where that die was um, but I wanted to cut it into the card, so I cut it into a bit of blue and then I backed it with some of this shiny, um, weird, pinky white textured cardstock, <laughs> um, which is the same as this, but this is the darker version. Um, and then I stuck it onto a white card and then I stuck some Easter eggs on the inside. So I didn't bring this stamp set in uh, because I forgot it again in typical style. But basically, what I did was this stamp set here is just slightly bigger than the egg in here. So what I did was I die cut this out of some post-it note tape and then I put the post-it note tape over the top of these two and then I stamped the third one so that it, I get this cool layered effect. Um, but this die is quite good because it's not far off the size of these so that was quite a nice little surprise. So that worked well for stamping those images. Um, so I did this one, I thought it was alright, didn't really, I mean, I mean I like it, but it was, there's something kind of missing from it. Um, so when I did my next card, I thought actually this is way better. So my next card, I did the impression from it. So I really like this one. Um, this is not die cut in, this is me taking the letters and gluing them down um, and sticking them on. And then I backed it again, there's that pinky shiny same stuff. Um, and then some paper over tops. So I really like how this one turned out and then I didn't stamp anything on the inside of this one. But this, to make this, I die cut it obviously out of this shiny stuff, but I backed it first onto some double sided stuff. So I've been meaning to show you guys this for a little while because um, I've been telling you about it. So there's this double sided adhesive sheets, so you can get big ones from Sizzix, but on their shop they had a sale recently and I picked these up. Um, so I got a pack of 10 of the small ones for £1.40 and a pack of the big ones for through £2. £2 I paid for these ones and these are like double sided foam. And this is the best foam I've seen so far. So it's really thick but it does die cut and it just pops right back up. So it doesn't squish, it doesn't change shape, it doesn't um, change at all. It just stays as is. So that's quite fun. This stuff's really good. I really like it. Um, but I got a whole bunch of these little packs to use up in my office because they're quite nice. They go through the little um, little die cut machine um, that's narrower. So it, you're meant to use it on like the Tim Holtz one, but any, any machine works well. Uh, but basically it's double sided. So you peel it um, and then you stick your cardstock down on top of that. And then you put it back over, give it a rub. And then I just cut out my section. So where'd my little bit go? There we go. So I took this bit, peeled it back stuck it down um, and then gave it a rub and then chopped it out and so then this has actually got the double sided adhesive on it now so that's sticky but what I did was I then popped out all the letters out of the inside move that out of the way popped out all the letters and then I put this on my card where I wanted it to go and then I took some post-it notes and lined them up on, on all the sides so it wouldn't wiggle on me um, and then I just peeled off the backing of each letter because they're double sided and then I put this down and placed it inside then took it off um, and then rubbed it down then took the next letter stuck that back down in my little um, my little outline and then just basically placed each letter in so it took longer 
than it would do if you just stuck them all down, but you got the exact um, impression from here, which is quite nice. Um, and it didn't take that long overall, mainly because I used the double-sided adhesive sheets. That made a massive difference. If I had to glue these down with a fine tip glue pen, that would have taken so much longer and I would have got glue all over the place. So I left this, the um, release sheet on the back of this so I could keep taking it up and down. And then I took off all the release sheets, obviously off the back of the letters. And that's how I did that card. So I really liked that one. I really, really liked how that turned out. It's really cute. Then next is the beautiful paper doll. And <laughs> I have to laugh because the last time <laughs> I did anything with paper dolls, <laughs> it kind of went a bit disastrous. Um, but here we go. I'm back at it because this one is just too pretty. Um, now with this one, it comes with little ballet shoes, it comes with her face. At, at first, when I cut this out, can you see that one there? When I first cut that out, I was like, oh my word, those are the tiniest arms I've ever seen. How am I going to get those arms on her body? And then, and then I looked at Alina's store and realized, that's her face! And those aren't her arms, those are her eyelashes. So there's me, with little tweezers, trying to think, how am I going to get this little arm on her body? Um, so stupid moment for me. Um, I've also done it a bit backwards because I just cut all the layers out whereas I watch someone else and you can just layer them on top of each other so I've, I've got a bit of learning to do. Um, but anyways I will show you my dolls. So here we are. Here's the first one. I saw I think it was um, Crafty Cakes and she put some tool behind and I just loved it so I've added tool to almost all of mine because I thought it was really pretty. Um, and there's the eyes that I thought were arms. <laughs> so, yeah, don't, don't be mistaken, they're actually eyes. And this is much easier than it looks. So you cut out the face, and then it's got the holes, so you just cut out the face again in two other colours, and just plunk those back in the holes. And so I put the glue in the holes, and then stuck them in. It was actually dead easy. Um, I find I get, like, all thumbs when I try and work with these, but this one was really quite good. Um, so... This doll here, I just backed with some tool. Um, I did the layering all wrong. I basically cut all the sections, whereas actually, if I just cut them all, and then just chopped off the, if I did the skirt, like, so, so, oh, get my words right. Um, one person said, whatever color you want the skirt to be, cut your doll out of that. And then, cut all the rest of the stuff down and stick it on top, whereas I did her body with the hair and cut the skirt off and then I attached the skirt back on. So I made it a lot more difficult for myself basically. Um, essentially what you want to do is use your skirt as your body um, and then cut all your other bits. So cut her body out the top and then cut her head and, and basically that kind of way of doing it. Um, so I will do another one and we'll see how it goes. But I did this doll on the card um, and then I put on the inside this foil around the outside is the same as her skirt and then I just kind of stamped some foli foliage Foli- I don't know, I can't say it. Why do I bother? I'm trying to go- oh no, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. Um, so that's the inside of the card. Um, and then this die is the circles, circle hearts die from Alina and this is a bow. <laughs> it is not a doily. So this, in my last video I was confused as to what this is, but this is, this works out as a scrunched up bow, which is really cool, and I will make one of those up. Um, so that's my first girl, and that's my first girl card. Then I did this one, so she's got some sparkly tool behind her, and she's on the square hearts ones, which is this one, which also comes with one of those bows. Um, so it's that one there, they look like that. Um, and I did her, and I did her doing some ballet. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you. I dug out, <laughs> I dug out the old paper dolls, the ones that I really struggled with, because I wanted some legs. Um, it doesn't come with legs, and on Alina's site, it looks totally fine. Like, she's got the doll, and then you kind of put a flower there and, and attach her legs behind the flower, and it looks fine. But when I started doing it, I was like, what on earth? And all I could see was a girl with invisible legs and these floating feet, and it, it just wasn't working for me. So I dug out my paper doll from Alina and I put her some legs on and then basically what I did was <laughs> chopped off her foot. Because <laughs> obviously her foot goes the wrong way so when you put the ballet shoes over 
her foot just sticks out the side a little so I chopped her foot off and stuck a ballet shoe on um, but I think it worked a treat what do you think there's her little ballet feet and I did her like doing a little ballet move so I stuck her some legs and shoes on um, and I just liked that a bit more because it felt more like she was doing something and more active um, so that's my second one and they I did them all with legs I just couldn't do it without legs it just it just didn't look right to me so there she is there with her little legs doing that um, and then I stuck the let's zoom out here there we go I stuck happy birthday in which is this really awesome die here so that one I love it I absolutely love it. it cuts like butter it is so nice this one can be a bit difficult you do need to use a precision base plate or an extra sheet of something because it's so intricate in the skirt that I found that this bit here of the skirt was a bit more difficult to cut it does cut you just need a thicker sandwich um, so yeah so I stamped the inside of this one um, and then stuck the happy birthday on on the top in some glitter paper which matched her dress so I tried to join it all together by using the same so that's that one and then my last one I really like this one the most I did this card and how I did this was I took the birthday die and I cut it twice and I cut it in a darker pink and then I layered it so you can see and I just shifted it over just slightly under top underneath the top one so it makes it kind of pop out a bit more and then I put my girl on the inside how cute is she and I did that same swirly stamp behind her which is a Stampin' Up stamp um, and this one I didn't use tool because she's on the inside of the card but I did give her some legs and she is doing some dancing and the body is as well from this one here so there's that body I used and I cut it out so it looks like her little leotard that you know ballerinas wear um, so I gave them all bodies and legs because I did originally put the legs on and then it again looked like she was missing half her body she was missing the torso it just looked really obvious so um yeah so those are my dolls and I've given her glitter eyes on all of them I've gave her black glitter paper eyes which is quite fun and on this one I gave her um I think I actually on all of them I gave them pink glitter cheeks um but I really 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 like this doll die it's really cute and basically I've got a whole bunch of birthday cards because my daughter has come home again with more birthday invites we've got I think six or seven on the fridge at the moment um uh, because there's two reception classes so there's a total of something like 54 students or something ridiculous and she's getting birthday invites from both classes and so we just got birthday party after birthday party after birthday party so I've already gone through all those birthday cards I made that you saw before um, in one of my original ones when I did the first, fifth birthdays so I thought I would do some really cute little ballerina cards um, to go with the next bunch of birthdays that we've got invited to um, so I hope you've enjoyed that that's my little makes for now um, and I will be back in my office today crafting um, but I've got to work um, at the framing studio tomorrow and on Wednesday and on Saturday so this week I've got three full days of work um, so I'm gonna really struggle to get in the office and my husband leaves for the States uh, for a week on the weekend so I'll be on my own with the kids so the videos might come a little bit slower, but they're definitely going to be coming. I'm going to work really hard in the day to make some stuff for you. I want to do some tutorials for you as well and show you how I make some of these things um, so that you can craft along with me if you want. Um, so yeah, so keep your eye on my YouTube channel. And if you aren't a member, please do subscribe and like my videos. I absolutely love it and I love your comments. You guys are so amazing. You make me feel so good and you just feel fill my day with sunshine. It's just really nice. I can't tell you how much it means to me. I just feel so honoured when people are commenting such lovely things and I do aim to reply to every single one of you. Um, so do keep commenting. And keep an eye because my draw, my prize draw happens on Wednesday. So if you haven't watched my last video, please make sure to watch it. Um, if you're in the UK, you have a chance to win a stamp set on my next crafting video so I've got a haul video and this video my next one will be another giveaway so do keep watching my channel I've got another giveaway coming up which will end start this week and end next week um, so thank you for joining me and happy crafting bye